so I just caught a video by this um, neurodiver neurodivergent creator called um, The Thought Spot. And, okay, so, and she was, the, the name of the video was, um, oh crap, it was um, neurodivergent traits, like she didn't like realize that she had, and to be honest, um, I've, I've never been formally diagnosed because even if I wanted to, I could, I can't, it's not going to happen. I'm not, I don't have a lot of money. I, you, like, I'm almost 50 years old. Nobody's going to diagnose me with something that'll, um, <laughs> walk me straight through the SSI check with, um, you know, no, uh, being denied thrice. Believe me, I tried before I knew I was uh, autistic. I, I, I figured I was I had borderline personality disorder. I knew, I knew I wasn't bipolar, which is like ugh. okay. Here's here's my thing with with freaking. If I'm a, if I were a psychiatrist, and I, I'm, I think I'm probably a better one than most of like pretty much any of them that uh, I've paid to shrink me <laughs> because none of them I've never been asked not one time and I'm talking just all of them I'm talking even from like the 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 hospitals where I was there on on a coroner hold because I had attempted suicide like I'm just I've seen a plethora of psychiatrists in my life and not one time not one in time have I ever have they ever asked me a question about me the first question I would ask any patient if I were a psychiatrist is well, tell me tell me about them parents I mean let's come on let's talk about your childhood because um and I'm not talking about autism right now but like uh, just it, like most I believe that most um of the most of the like the um the um illnesses in the DSM besides the you know the genetic ones or can just be tracked straight back to early childhood trauma especially borderline personality disorder which is what I thought I had I mean I knew there was something I, I don't want I don't say wrong with me anymore because I don't I don't I hate I don't like Ever since finding out about this autism, um, I find my, I find myself getting really aggravated when I hear people speaking of it as a disability, because um, yeah. I think the only reason why it, it 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 people would think it a disability is because that's what we're being conditioned to believe. Because the the truth is that. Most of society are are uh, neurotypicals, and they like literally they they don't know how to get us, and so instead of trying to get us, which and if, if they would open, if they would try, they could, but they don't want to. Instead, they would just rather just stamp us retarded <laughs> and move on. I mean, like. <laughs> I mean, even like bef like before I knew I I, I was autistic. Like um, I've I've always been kind of like um, attracted or um, just there's always been neurodivergence in my life, and I've always and they you know like um, uh, like kids and stuff. You know, I was always the helicopter stay at home mom and. Um, and I would just be able to tell, mostly because neurodivergent kids are really smart. You could call them, but and they get called bad, and they get called this and that. No, they're just, they're just, you know, smart. And and probably they, like, spent a lot of their lives getting told they were bad. I never, I mean, I, I, I was always told I was bad and, uh. And like <laughs> anyway, and like at school, um, 
it meant, like, every progress report and report card, like, where the teacher could, like, fill in her freaking comment, they would always write, and I was a good student, and I was a good kid, but they'd always write, she's on space, they would write space cadet, or head in the clouds, or, you know, just, <laughs> just some shit like that, like, um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like in the, the first grade, I had a 12th grade reading level, and like uh, when I took typing one, I could already type 150 words a minute. They never broke that shit down on my fucking report card. <laughs> hey, good job teaching this little bitch how to type so fast before she gets to typing one. Good job on that, parents. But it really wasn't my parents I taught myself. She was also talking about the the um the a thought spot creator was talking about and I didn't I didn't realize that this was a a, um, a neurodivergent trait uh, I guess it did but not, but but sensory deprivation and like okay so at first I'm like huh and then like okay so but one of my favorite things to do when I was a kid was pretend like I was dead. And I could do it for a long time, and I could do it well. Like, watch. Like, I can't do it right now. I haven't done this since I was a little kid. No, I haven't done it since I was, like, 45. <laughs> Just cracking me up. Because you know what? Theoretically, nobody watching this video exists. Theoretically, Nothing outside of me exists, and nothing outside of you exists, and you really don't exist, and to you, I really don't exist, theoretically, because atoms are 99.99999% empty space. Thanks for watching my video.